Gaza, the symbol of resistance, is the title of the fourth international conference. Iranian officials, Palestinian resistance figures and pro-Palestine activists from different countries are taking part in the two-day event. The conference is aimed at commemorating the resistance shown by Palestinians, especially the people of Gaza during Israeli aggressions against that coastal enclave. Gaza is a prison, and don't people don't say to, to don't, don't want to see children and women and poor innocent people in a prison. Why they they they, they cannot uh, live normally? Uh, you know the media in, in this point of view it's very important, and, and they, they make and they shape you know they stage the, the war, and the military war is uh, following this. Addressing the event, a once parliament speaker Ali Larijani described Hezbollah, Hamas and Islamic Jihad movements as the most influential powers in the Middle East. After the wave of Islamic awakening swept across the region and beyond, the Zionist regime wanted to make a move but it faced strong resistance from Hamas and Islamic Jihad movements. Today Hezbollah, Hamas and Islamic Jihad movements are the most influential powers in the Middle East, which is the result of their spirit of resistance. In December 2008, Israel launched a wide-scale offensive against the people of Gaza, killing and injuring many Palestinians, among them women and children. The war was supposed to inflict a heavy defeat on Hamas, removing them from the Gaza Strip or at least disarm them. But after 22 days of resistance by Hamas and Islamic Jihad movements, Israeli troops were forced to withdraw and accept defeat. Meanwhile, in 2012, Israel tried to test its luck for victory in Gaza, but again it was forced to accept a truce after eight days of war. We will never be defeated by Israel, therefore we should always maintain preparedness. We call on our friends in the world to give us spiritual, political and even military support like what Iran did, and this is a reality which everyone knows. Israel has talking about a lot about uh, attacking Iran before uh, the war against Gaza. But now, uh, Israel thinking twice before uh, talking about that again, uh, because the results of uh, the war not becoming as uh, Israel want. So uh, I think uh, uh, Israel wants to think more and more before doing that. And uh, I think there is a lot of things changed after the war uh, against Gaza. Gaza has been under crippling Israeli blockade since 2007, after a democratically elected Hamas movement took over the administration of the enclave. Analysts believe that with numerous defeats of Israel against Palestinian resistance movements, the countdown has begun for Israel's collapse. Someone Kujuri, Press TV, Tehran.